morning. Decided to come, I think it's about two weeks since my last update, but it's a Friday instead of a Sunday. Um, we've just landed back from Florida, did a really nice trip to Sarasota. We went and had a look, well Selena's working there, but we also went and had a look at some properties to buy for rental. Um, very interesting. But um, I've come back here now and the first two homes, whatever this is, the thermal covering, they're on. So that's great. Our one has the roofing tiles up on whatever the roof, I don't think it's felt, but it's some sort of roof covering and then the tiling is up there. Uh, and there's some additional progress. So I will walk you through and we'll learn at the same time what progress has been made. And I'm guessing today, because they're just finishing up here, they're going to do the same as whatever this covering is um, on here. That would be my guess. Anyway, let's go have a look. Starting in the garage. Uh, not much has changed in here. So the main thing that's changed is the, sorry about the noise, they're doing a lot of construction, is all of the electrical has been run now, which is new to me because I haven't seen it before. You can see there huge amount of electrical we did a reasonable amount of upgrades i think it's around seven or eight thousand dollars worth of upgrades so you can see where all of the plugs are going in um i did have a brief look and all of this is incorrect so i'm just gonna take a picture at the end and send it to our salesperson and make sure they get this right so this is all of the wrong cabinetry the wrong island uh, and some of the wrong options on here so i'm hoping this is just an early revision that they've stuck up <laughs> because i hope they don't get that wrong uh, because i would imagine it's quite a lot of work to get right again so that's about it in the garage walking through ah uh, here we can see some electrical running so this is between the garage and the entrance into the house one of the things that we did do here is Going into the pantry, we did an electrical socket here and an electrical socket up there. We weren't sure exactly where we'd put electrical items, so we did one low and one high. And we can see some electrical here and here. As you can see, a huge amount of electrical in the kitchen. So this is just the fridge freezer area see all of the electric coming in here I think this is potentially higher voltage I'm not sure for the oven I don't really know how electrical works um, lots of sockets so I think all of these were the standards where there's a lot that we paid for is these where there's canned lighting so you can see here 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 there and then you can see all the way down the house, every part should be covered by canned lighting. So that was quite expensive. I think for every four, it was around $800 or $900. Um, so we spent quite a lot of money because personally, I like a nice bright home. Selena likes her home dark, but at least it gives us both options. What else is new here? Not much. Obviously the doors went in on the last update. Ah, so we've gone for here. So notice how these are sideways. So these are the normal, normal way up and you can see here. So where we've gone for quite a nice backsplash, it ruined the lines having it vertical. So we went for horizontal and also black or like a chrome black here you can see. So it should fit in a lot better with the lines that run this way. Um, so the splash rack will have lines that go this way, really, not that way. Let's have a quick look outside. So outside, we have gone for additional sockets. Power here. And here, because this is where we're gonna most likely have the seating area. And you'll see we've paid for canned lighting uh, ceiling fan, can lighting, ceiling fan, can lighting. So we want to make sure we cover the whole thing with both a fan and lights. And then I think, yes, we've also gone for this. <coughs> so where this might help somebody is 
it does cost a lot of money but it would be a lot more expensive to do it after the fact so you might as well have it all wired in if anything goes wrong you can call them up and they can come back and just get all of your electrical done i would say that's probably one of the most important thing along with the structural options so now we don't ever have to worry about it. if we want to run lights or a tv on the outside not that we would um, the only thing that I didn't consider, and actually one of our subscribers, and we subscribe to them, they've put an electrical socket, I think quite high up, which makes sense, because if you want to put a TV out here, whether it's there or there, then you're probably going to need power. However, what we can do is, this one sits in here, so you could really easily run the power from there all the way along. You just have to tack it in and then plug it in up there. So I'm glad we went for quite a few electrical options. Okay. So again, you can see loads of electrical here. Up here, you've got can lighting, can lighting, electrical, and there should be just here, we're going to put, this is the entrance way. So the door is on the side. I just come out here. So you enter the side of the home here. That's the front. And then there are two electrical points to put lighting in. So our plan is to put the light here that spreads this way and this way. So there'll be two or three. So it'll light up this whole area as well as the lighting up here. Not expecting many changes in here. Should be all pretty much as we left it. And there's a reasonable amount of electrical options here. So most of those are standard. Where they're not standard is we opted for um, can lights there. And we have gone for, there's like a multi switch so that you can switch the fan, which is up there on separately and the lights on separately. I'm pretty sure everything in here is standard. So let's go and have a look upstairs. This is the secondary lounge, I would guess, but I think what it's actually called is the loft. Um, we have gone for ceiling fan pre-wire and can lights here. So I'm pretty sure all of those were upgrades. I can't remember where the standard electrical, but we've, I'm pretty sure we've added one in here, but it looks like the standard electrical is fairly good because you've got some here, some up there, all of the switches. <coughs> Now the front bedroom was the one that I could not remember what we did. And I'm pretty sure Selena said not to do the fan pre-wire. So, in here should just be the four can lights, which it is. So we don't have the pre-wire for the fan here. I'm kind of regretting that. We should have just done it in, in every room. I'm not sure why we did, but we didn't, but we didn't. Oh, it's about 7 a.m. on Saturday, and you see the views are amazing. So the, the workers are out framing the rest of the homes because it's nearly finished now on this estate. Pretty sure in here, other than the can lighting, all of these plug sockets are standard. Looks like a tub has shown up. Uh, that might be for the master, I'm not sure. Looks like it, because it looks huge. Oh, and another tub shower. I think I mentioned this before, so... This is actually incorrect, so this is going to have to be cut off to put on the solid. So it's like a cultured marble that should be the surround. So I'm guessing they're going to use this bathtub and then just cut this off and put the solid surround. In this room, we did go for, I think, can lighting and the center fan. Anything else up here? 
in here should be fairly standard the only option we went for in here was the lower cabinetry because it's only 12 or 1300 where the uppers were four and a half thousand i think ah our doors are in so in here i cannot remember whether we did any upgrades for the electrical we may well have done but i don't remember that well i know we went for the pre-wire and the cam lights i can't remember if that was a standard option or something we added on probably something we added but our doors are in so these are the eight foot slides now if i step back get quite a good view of what it's like outside obviously that will be filled in but that's a decent amount of light coming in it's probably bigger than any of the doors that we've had previously we now have our railings which is good so it was missing before see how beautiful it is even at 7 a.m in the morning you can see the valley very nice Oh, and for any of you that have watched my video on the Lennar High Line, this is our balcony. That there that you're looking at is Lennar High Line. So we were looking to buy, I think the one that's coming over is just behind these buildings that you can see here. Um, and they are 1,700 square foot and 476,000 at the moment, which is quite high if you ask me, but that's the only option. So out here, I think there's a single light and an electrical point, which is great. I don't think we need to do an upgrade there. Right, the master bathroom, we did go for two smaller cam lights over the vanity area. I can't remember if we did upgrades to the electrical sockets. We did go for the can lighting in here, so there's two here in the centre and two over the bath. And it does look like this is the frame for that. Not sure when the rest of the stuff is turning up, but I'm sure it's fairly soon. I think that's it. So there's a reasonable amount of progress. I'm expecting the outer thermo sheet weatherproofing whatever it is to go on probably today or tomorrow i know they do work saturday because we saw our uh, neighbors getting done on a saturday um looks like all electrical plumbing everything is done so the only thing i need to do is take a picture of the upgrades that they've put on the wall and our cabinet tree and our island and send that to the salesperson and just make sure that they have the latest one because i would hate for them to put that in that's it for this video so thanks for watching and if you haven't already please make sure you subscribe